Right, time to get this on the road again. Uh, and since I'm a silly little bastard, uh, I've actually forgotten what we're doing right now. <laughs> Jesus Christ, I only just recorded this like a, a day ago, practically. Alright, let me just wait and see what's coming up. Ah, this uh, sewer level. Another Mondo Cool Sewer level. Yeah, I'm not going to say that again. I apologize sincerely. And here's where I fail. <laughs> yeah, those scientists piss me off. Uh, basically, don't get too close to them or else they will uh, fry you. And you'll be a crispy bandicoot. Mmm. That sounds like a delicious treat. Oh, well. Oh shit, people have to annoy me now just as I'm recording, yeah, great, great going. Oh, it's uh, Thomas, uh, never mind, he wasn't annoying me, he was responding to something. Anyway, I've just been watching a bunch of uh, Crash Bandicoot ads, and one of the weirdest ones I've ever seen is one for Crash Bandicoot Huge Adventure for the GBA, and a very edgy one they made for uh, Nitro Kart. Ah, uh, yeah. <laughs> the Japanese versions, by the way, if anybody doesn't know. If you all know what I'm talking about, then... Yeah. <laughs> it's so fucking weird. The edgy one for the Nitro Kart one was just basically uh, a Crash Bandicoot doll. Uh, and a little mini miniature kart running through a bikini uh, Asian girl. Oh, yes. <laughs> a bit edgy for a kid's game, isn't it? Come on. Oh, well, anyway. Another easy bonus level where I fail. Wow, that was stupid of me. How the fuck did I even... I swear I even got to the other side. The hell? He just slipped off. <clears throat> yeah, I didn't really sound surprised as usual. Because I can't really... I don't really remember a lot of shit I record, so it should be uh, weird when I see all this shit. This shit. This fucking shit. God. Collecting lots of crates to get a gem, maybe. Hang on, do I even get a gem in this one? I remember I get a gem in the next one. God, me and my bad memory. I need better memory. Till it bang! Don't ask, that just came out of my mouth, just randomly. Now I feel like my ears have gone. I can't hear! Oh shit, these things are fucking annoying. Uh, now, if you want to be a daredevil, you can jump through these uh, when there's only two or one of them, but don't try and get through them when there's three, because you'll never make it. You don't have the balls. And they just spun that way too late. I was going to be a devil devil at some point, but I decided to chicken out and just wait. I don't want to die. Dying is so not cool. Dying is so not the future. Shouldn't the TNT be able to blow up this shit? Oh, I don't know. I don't care. I just want the fucking crystal. Piss off, you scientist. Seriously, what the fuck is he even doing? He's just, like... I don't know, what what kind of tool is he using there? Because I'm not really sure. He's just, like... Um... Oh, shit. Fuck. Okay, that was a, a bad idea to jump too early. Yeah, seriously, what? Uh, I'm not really sure what tool he's using. I, I called it a Bunsen burner before off recording for some odd reason. I don't know why. Um, it's kind of weird the hell he's just like flaming it out and then decides to work for like two seconds and then starts doing it again. He's really bad at his job. They're all bad at their jobs. He's doing it again. Where am I going? I have no idea. Oh yeah, I was going to get the crates again. Since I might as well work for some gems. Because apparently Brio is going to unleash all his forces of evil on me if I don't. 
Do I get electrocuted here? Yes, I do. Shit. I get so paranoid, I think I'm actually going to die at that point. And I was too stupid to realise that I could jump over there um, and not get electrocuted. This guy better not burn me. Am I speaking loud enough? I have no idea. The reason I sound um, quieter than usual also is because well, it's not night time, I've just woken up. And I've had to force myself to do this commentary just to get it out of the way. Die. I got a gem, I'm happy. Happy, happy, joy, joy, happy, happy. Yeah, let's get on with it. Let's just get out of here. There's a certain thing that happens whenever you complete this level out of all the other levels around here. Doesn't matter what order you go in, if you complete this level, uh, then you get an extra cutscene. Well, it's depending, not really depending on what time you complete it. If you just complete this level, you get a cutscene just after it. Uh, let's have a look what it is. The room doesn't go dark for some reason. I can't actually hear what she's going on about, and I can't really remember, because my volume is all the way down. Well, that was weird. See ya.